Merry Christmas, friends. Have you wrapped all your presents yet? I know I haven't, but I'm gonna do that tonight. And before I do, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got our kids for Christmas. The family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet, but full of nuts. Now you moms out there that might have little ears listening, just so you know, this does not include any presents from Santa or stockings, because he brings those, right? So this is safe for the whole family to listen to. Also, my kids will not be seeing this before Christmas, so I'm not worried about that. So I have four kids, one that's almost seven, one that just turned five, one that just turned three, and an infant who is about five months old. So I'll show you what we got. And then at the end, I'll go ahead and share with you what we plan on doing for presents for our extended family. It is kind of hard for me sometimes to remember what items I bought for who and for what because Mackenzie, Jackson, and Lily all have birthdays that are either a couple weeks before Christmas or a week after Christmas. So when I'm buying presents for Christmas, I'm also buying presents for birthdays. So one of the ways that I've stayed organized this year is my um, Christmas planner, which is a free printable available on thefamilyfudge.com. So check that out if you haven't. So I'm just going through my list, making sure I have everything for everybody. I don't forget anything. And it looks like I do. Most of these items came from Ross. Some of them came from Amazon. A One or two came from Walmart and maybe one from Costco. And the thing about these presents, you guys, is that none of them were a Black Friday deal, um, so most of them are still available if you're still looking for a perfect gift for somebody. Um, if I have the link to these items, I'll leave them down below, and you can check it out. If you're an Amazon Prime member, you can probably get most of these items in a couple of days, so you're not too late. Shall we start with the youngest child first? So Griffin is my youngest child. He is about five months old right now. And obviously he's a baby. He doesn't know, <laughs> he doesn't really know much about Christmas. So he's not expecting anything. So I went ahead and got him things that he kind of needs or things that I thought he would like. And the first thing I picked up were the Bright Starts Little Links. And you can see I already gave him a few, but he loves them. And these are just linking toys that you can hang from a car seat or a stroller. And the thing about this, you guys, is that at Ross, these are only $2.99. I saw the exact same ones at Walmart and, for, and from Babies R Us for $5.99. So check Ross first. And then I picked up this little rattle. Look how cute this is. And this again, this was only $2.99 at Ross. I saw it at Baby's R Us for $5.99. And this is a little rattle that looks like one of those ball popper toys. Look, isn't that so cute? I had one of these when I was a kid. So there's a cute little rattle for him. And then it's been super cold here. I know in parts of the country it's like a blizzard, but here in California it's about 50, which is pretty cold for us. So I got him this new uh, sleeper jammy that says little brother, isn't that so sweet? And then I got him this nice, warm, cozy blanket. It is so soft and I love the blue um, chevron pattern. This at Ross was only $6.99. And then I picked up this cute outfit and this was on clearance. This actually was from the ba from Babies R Us for $10.98, and it comes with the hood. The hood has little ears on it, and the fun plaid inside. It comes with the shirt and the pants. So the last item I got for Griffin was this in-car baby mirror, and it helps you keep an eye on your little one in the car, and surprisingly, I haven't had one of these before with any of my other kids, but this one's supposed to be safe for the car, and it comes with lights and some songs, because Griffin is not really fond of the car, so anything I can get for him that might help that is worth a try in my book. So this was about $20 from Baby Zaras. So that's all Griffin's getting. Like I said, he's a baby. He's not expecting anything. And now on to Lily. Lily just turned three a few weeks ago, so she got a lot of presents for her birthday already. So I tried not to go crazy for her. And, spoiler alert, there are some electronic toys in this bunch. 
Um, my husband and I think that the for our family, the electronic toys are okay. Um, in moderation, we try to mix it up a bit because like I, told, I was telling him earlier, I'm using my electronic toys to make this video. So I'm not against my kids having electronic toys either. So the first thing I picked up for Lily is this VTech learning tablet, and it has all kinds of games. Let me see if I can turn it on. Hello, Four. Smarty Pod. Let's play. Let's take some pictures. Press a letter or number. Bye-bye, Smarty Pod. Anyway, I won't show you all the features because there's too many on this toy, but I think that she'll love this. You know, her older siblings do some of their schoolwork on the computer, and so I'm hoping that I can give this to her while they're doing their schoolwork and she can feel like she's on her little own, her own little computer. So, that was for Lily. I got this at Ross for $14.99. And then, this is a super fun toy. I'm excited for her to try this. This is a button art toy, and, and this comes with 10 different pictures and colored buttons. And this is a great sort of hands-on activity. You have to match the colored pegs to the right holes, and this is a whole like hand-eye coordination developmental toy. I think she will love this, and hopefully this will keep her busy for a while. I got this on Amazon, and it was, uh, I think, around $10. And then I got this Let's Go Fishing Game. I had one of these as a, ch as a child, and so I'm excited for her to try it. I found this on Amazon for about $6, and so it comes with little fishing poles, and you turn it on, and the, the um, mouth of the fish, they open and close, and you have to sort of um, catch them with a magnet on the end of your pole. So there's that. And then, we love the movie Trolls. <laughs> so this is a little book, and it comes with all the different songs. Anyway, I figure if they're going to play with a toy that has music, it should at least be a song that I like. So it kind of works out that way. So she'll be excited to have that. And then I got one more noisy toy for her, which is this Moana. Um, microphone and I got a super good deal on this. This came out to be only $2.80 a piece because at Walgreens they were having us a, a sale a buy two get it was actually buy two get two free so I got four different little toys like this and they were only $2.80 each and this one sings that. Isn't that cute? For 280, it comes with stickers and a little microphone. They can sing the song. I love to encourage singing. And then the last thing I got for Lily was this cute little pony set. Now these aren't actually My Little Pony brand, but these are like the style of ponies that I had growing up. And I really like that at Christmas time I can find toys that used to be my favorite as a child and I get to see them experience it. I think that is so fun. Does anybody else do that? Get your, your kids toys that you might have had growing up? All right, so they're all the things for Lily, and now I'll move on to Jackson. So Jackson's birthday was just about a week ago, so he just got a ton of stuff for his birthday too. So let's start with something that's kind of just practical, but he needed anyway, and that is a new pair of church pants. These came with a belt as well. These were $11.97 at Walmart. You know, for the older kids, I try to have that, you know, something they wear, something they read, something they want, something they need. So that's definitely something he could wear and something he needed. So hopefully he'll be happy to have them. This is a really cool toy. This is a Leap Band, and it's kind of like a kid's smartwatch meets a Fitbit. So it has all these um, activities on the back for them to do. Um, this has a lot of features. You definitely check this one out on Amazon because it has more features than I can even share right now. But it encourages movement and um, being active. And so like today it was raining all day. They didn't get outside much. This kind of helps them, you know, like do 10 jumping jacks or play these different games 
on this um, little band. And this was only $13 on Amazon. It's probably a little bit more now. I've seen the price change, but this is a really good deal. I think he's gonna love this. And then I happen to know that he's gonna be getting a few Play-Doh toys <laughs> from some other people. So I picked up this Play-Doh pack. It was $3.99, which I think is a pretty good deal. I have a love-hate relationship with Play-Doh though. My kids love it, and I love that they spend a lot of time doing it, but sometimes it can get messy. This is another exciting gift that I'm hoping that he loves, and this is a little arcade-style basketball game, and I got this at Ross. It was only, this was only $16.99, and it's metal and mesh. It comes with the balls as well. It doesn't actually keep like a score here at all. This is just for looks. But so far, Jackson has really been into like building and tools and things and not necessarily into sports very much. So I think that this could go, this present could go either way. Hopefully he'll love it. And I like that this is a game that his sisters can play with him as well. And I like the whole like hand-eye coordination developmental aspect of this as well. And then he just started getting into Hot Wheels. I picked up this fun toy at Ross. This one was only $19.99. I saw this one at Walmart for $24.99, so a little bit cheaper than Walmart. And he already has a few cars, and that just looks like a lot of fun. I think he's gonna love that one. So now on to Mackenzie. So Mackenzie's birthday is literally a week after Christmas, so I do have some presents for her birthday already. So I tried not to go too crazy on the Christmas gifts. So first up we have this cute little dress set. It comes with a dress for like an American girl size doll and a dress for her and this is from Costco. And I got this on sale at Costco.com when they were marked down to $14.99. I think normally they're like $18.99, but for the dress and sort of a toy, I think this is a really great deal. And they had this in red, they had, it, they had one in blue as well. Then I picked up a Shopkins toy. She doesn't have any Shopkins yet at all, so this will be her first Shopkins toy. This is the smoothie truck and it comes with a couple little toys. I don't really know much about Shopkins other than that she thinks they're cool and I know a lot of girls like them, so hopefully she'll like this. I found this at Ross for $14.99. I know that this was sold out at a lot of other places. And so I was happy to find it at Ross and I was happy to find it for a good deal. And then look at this cute little troll's purse. I found this at Walmart. It was around $5 and she is going to be seven. She's not quite seven yet, but this will be her first little purse. And it's got a, a shoulder cross body strap. So hopefully she won't lose it. So I'm excited to give her her first little purse. I know she's gonna love that it has trolls on it because that's probably her favorite movie right now. All right. So the, this, here's the last item for Mackenzie. This is a Breitling's toy. And I actually found this one, on, I actually found this one at Walmart and it was like marked down to $17. But I know you can find these on Amazon too in a couple of different colors. And this toy does a lot of fun, cute things. Let's see if I can turn it on. It does all kinds of things. It says different phrases. It can, you can record your voice and then you can speed it up or slow it down. It says over 100 phrases and it's like interactive like that. So I think that she'll love that. There we go. I'll definitely check this out on Amazon too because you can see all the different features that it has. It looks really fun. I almost forgot to show you this one. It was hiding behind me. This one is for Mackenzie. It is like a Barbie sized Moana doll from the new Disney movie. It is so cute. And this one doesn't sing or anything, so it's a nice quiet toy. And it was about $10 from Walmart. Okay, so here's the last item I just wanted to show you. We're actually hosting Christmas at our house this year, and that means probably six or seven kids running around my house. And so this is a gift that I got for all of the kids to work on while they're at our house for Christmas. And I don't know if I can, it's a cardboard gingerbread house that you can color. So I'm hoping that it'll keep all the kids busy on Christmas day. 
and they're over at my house. And this was from Lowe's, surprisingly, like the hardware store. I know you can find similar things on Amazon. It comes with some jumbo stickers as well. I would have liked this toy when I was a kid. So there are all the presents that we got our kids this Christmas. <laughs> 